It started when I was a kid growing up in Los Angeles. My memories really began at the end of the Second World War. It was a beautiful city, and there were green spaces in between communities. I had a paper route on a bicycle. I, I rode around different neighborhoods, and it was fresh and clean. I, I loved it. And then suddenly, when the war ended, Los Angeles became something at the end of a rainbow, and everybody clamored to get into L.A., and suddenly everything changed. Suddenly there were skyscrapers, there were freeways, there was pollution. So I saw a city that I really loved sort of disappear under my feet, and it no longer felt like home to me, so I moved away. And I moved into the mountains. I, I spent time in the Sierras. That connection to nature hit me like a ton of bricks. I said, this is where I want to be. I want to be in and around nature. I want to preserve if I can. So I guess I got committed at an early age to do whatever I could. Years ago, there used to be a, a saying, and they called it NIMBY, which is an abbreviation for not in my backyard, that people would not get interested or focus on anything unless it was, particularly if it was a danger, unless it was in their backyard. It was somebody else's problem, therefore they didn't have to think about it or worry about it or address it. But now climate change is in everybody's backyard. It's going to affect every country, every nation, every person. There's been so much damage done over the years to the planet that if we don't act sooner rather than later, I don't know what kind of a planet we're going to have to live on. Our planet's resources are limited, but there's no limit to the human imagination and our capacity to solve bigger problems. And only by acting now and standing together can we achieve the results we need in the time that we have left. And only by acting now and standing together can we begin to tip the scales and change the course of history. Em um evento da Assembleia Geral sobre alterações climáticas realizado nesta semana, o secretário-geral da ONU, Ban Ki-moon, pediu que os líderes mundiais trabalhem pelo combate à mudança climática de forma mais rápida. 2015 is a year for global action as we are ushering into a new era of sustainable development. This climate change agreement uh, should guide us in coming uh, at least 15, 20 years. It seems to me that the stars are aligned uh, more than ever before. The government, the business CEOs, civil societies, and faith uh, group, faith community, they are all in one now. Uh, it's a matter of our political will and diplomatic skill how do we converge all these wishes and expectations of international community in one single universal ambitious agreement?